Hi, this video is going to show you how to install the Gizmotron 2.0 on a Stratocaster body, but the same basic procedure can be used for any electric guitar bass. Okay, the first thing you want to do is loosen all the keys with the included Phillips screwdriver. And go ahead and spread all the keys out. Remove the three mounting pads with the included hex driver. Next, attach each mounting pad to an adhesive mounting strip. Make sure you leave a little tape margin around the edges to protect your guitar's finish. Reattach the mounting pads to the Gizmotron and loosely position the Gizmotron over the bridge of the guitar. On the guitar Gizmotron, you want to keep the wheels as close to the string saddles as possible. On the bass Gizmotron, the unit may sound best a few inches in front of the bridge. Now adjust the height of the Gizmotron by turning the leg leveler screws in or out. Place the Gizmotron on the guitar and slide the keys so they sit beside each string. You want to be very careful here and not bend or twist the spring arms in any way. Do not bend the spring arms. Now it's time for the final positioning. Remember, for guitar, you want to keep the wheels as close to the string saddles as possible. On bass, you may want to mount the Gizmotron a few inches in front of the bridge. Adjust it according to your taste. On a Stratocaster body, you want to remove the pickguard screw beside the bridge. This is where we are going to place our first mounting pad. Remove the paper backing from the pad and place the mounting pad on the pickguard. Next, place the Gizmotron on the mounting pad and tighten the hex screw with the included hex driver. Make sure the forks on the leg leveling screw are facing outward. Now is a good time to double check the keys to make sure that they're sitting beside each string. Now, pivot the Gizmotron so that the body is straight and perpendicular to the strings. Position the second mounting pad so that the screw is easily accessible. Remove the paper backing and attach the mounting pad to the guitar. Make sure the Gizmotron is straight and perpendicular to the strings before you attach the second mounting pad. Remove the paper backing from the last mounting pad and attach it to the guitar. Position the pad on a flat area of the body and make sure the screw is in an accessible position. Adjust the speed knob to 50%. This will prevent the spring arms from accidentally twisting if the keys are initially adjusted too close to the strings. Apply power to the Gizmotron and check the height while pressing the keys. Keep the strings below the midpoint of the wheels. For the final key adjustments, make sure you hold the guitar in the playing position. Using the included Phillips screwdriver, adjust each key so that the notes ring out after pressing the key. If the wheel is too close to the string, the notes will be muted when you release the key. Simply pull the key further away from the string and retighten the key until you find the right position. When you're ready to remove a Gizmotron from the guitar, simply loosen the hex screws on the mounting pads and pull the unit off the guitar. To remove the mounting pads from the guitar, simply pull the tape tabs along the face of the guitar and the mounting pads will come right off. And that concludes our installation video.